know, you know, we know, you survive. I said, I know, you know, we know, you survive. Surprise, surprise, your girl is back on the grind. Losing sleep for the paper, designer bags on my eyes. See me. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Takia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, for this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get this bomb braid out in under 10 minutes. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Washed my hair today and I had to like really thoroughly cleanse it and then I conditioned it and then I deep conditioned it um, I will be having a updated Full wash day routine so that you guys can see everything that I use I'll be doing that soon you guys know I'm in my new apartment now so the shower is nice and spacious so It'll be so much easier to like make the hair videos and my routines and stuff so my sister is braiding my hair into six different braids going straight back. Don't worry about this step. They do not have to be perfect as long as they're not super chunky. <laughs> as you can see, mine's are a little bit tore up, but it's whatever. I appreciate my sister for doing this because Lord knows I can't. So then I went ahead and braided my leave out. Oh, na, na. Oh, mama. Once I woke up in the morning, I definitely resembled D'Angelo, <laughs> don't judge me, but here I'm just showing you my ends that are pretty trimmed, they're nice and curly at the end, and then look at the comparison. So some of my hair still wasn't fully cut when I got my diva cut, so I'm just going to trim some of those ends, it's the perfect time to do it now because my hair is in different sections in braids. So as you can see, my ends are see-through at the bottom, so I'm gonna get rid of any see-through hair. And like I said, I had a total of six braids, so I'm gonna trim every single one of them. So the rest of this process goes by pretty quickly because we prepped our hair the night before. I'm just taking three of the braids on the left and pinning them down with bobby pins. Make sure they're secure because you don't want them flying or popping up when you clip your hair in. And then I'm gonna do the same with the other three braids. I'm gonna just find some space where I can bobby pin them down and then secure them. Y'all know I love Her Given Hair. I'm using their curly textured clip-ins in the length 12 and 14 inches. So I pretty much used the banding method, I guess. I just took some extra large hair ties and I wrapped it around the hair because the curly texture definitely would not blend with my braid out leave out. So I just did this in order for it to blend a little bit better. And as you can see, the curls are looser than they were when I got them out of the package. Starting with the 14 inch clip-ins, this is a three clip. I'm just gonna clip that above my leave out braids that I have going down the side. And it's really easy to like clip on to the braids that are already secured or just like find a little part on your scalp and clip it. It's super easy. This is literally the ge most genius way to like get a wash and go, a quick one or even a braid out. It's genius. And thank me later if you haven't already tried this out. If you have, definitely leave me a comment and let me know how it went for you. So I used up all the 14 inch clips. There were six total. And then I used up four of the 12 inch clips. So during this process, I definitely was aware and I made sure not to use all of my two or three clips. There weren't any two clips, but all of my three clips, because once you get to the front and the top here, you definitely want something that's not as wide as like a four or a five clip. So I'm just clipping that last one on and I didn't put it too close to the part just so that it's easier to conceal. And now I'm kind of doing the prayer hand method and trying to get out some of that texture and then I'm putting some jojoba oil on my fingers like always and taking out my leave out braids. I use the oil to take down my braids or twists or whatever, not only to make my hair shiny and blend with the texture of the clip-ins, but also to protect my hair and to keep it just nice and moisturized as well. So my fingers kind of glide across it and I won't do any extra damage. And I'm also trying to keep my ends moisturized. You saw they were nice and raggedy before. 
Okay, so to conceal the tracks or any clippings that might be showing, the easiest way to do it is to flip your hair to one side and kind of get that like side tousled look. I don't know if this is the top weave sin, but it is definitely a no-no to go out of the house without blending your weave with your natural hair. So I'm taking this large wide tooth comb and blending out some of that clip-in texture just so it blends with my hair more and then make sure you do not comb out your actual braid out texture. guys so much for watching the video leave a comment and like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe follow me on my other social media and i will see you guys next sunday switchblading i'm cutting through these haters i'm stunting i'm sorting i don't know what y'all saying